Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. Real short Lightroom video for you today. Today I'm going to teach you how to get an Orton effect using Lightroom. Also, I'd like your opinion. Lately, I've been doing these shorter, less detailed Lightroom videos. Do you like that format, these shorter videos, or would you prefer me to do longer, more detailed, in-depth Lightroom videos? Let me know in the comments below. Now, as far as the Orton effect, it was uh, popularized by a Canadian photographer, landscape photographer named Michael Orton, and it really is just a way to give your images a dreamy, ethereal look. Michael Orton used Photoshop to achieve this look, but you can get kind of a faux um, Orton effect in Lightroom, and it's very easy. You really concern yourself mainly with two sliders. It works equally well on portraits and landscape images. Now on this portrait, uh, just process it like you normally do, and that's what I did here, and then go to clarity first, and really just move clarity to left. And when you do that, you'll kind of blur out some of the micro contrast of the image. And this really is the Orton effect. That's what you're doing. So you can see how when it's at zero, and then as I move it to left, how we're just kind of giving it this kind of dreamy look and you could move texture as well, see if that um, does an effect you like. You can move that to left, or maybe if you want to just bring a little bit of, of detail back in some of the finer detail areas, you could try moving texture to the right. In this case, I think moving it to left just a little bit works as well. Now, for some images, you may want to go up and adjust the exposure too. Some people like the Orton effect to be kind of a high key look and they'll move this to the right the exposure slider and you can see the look it gives you there or maybe they prefer more of a low key kind of ethereal look and you could do that as well for this image i think a little bit overexposed kind of gives it a cool look the other slider that you could try sometimes is the dehay slider most often you'd move that to left on this image though i think it's just too much you could see or maybe not so there is kind of an overbearing Orton effect on this image. Let's try a landscape image. So we'll go to this image uh, here. Again, just process it like you normally would. Then come into Texture, Clarity, and Dehaze. And go to Clarity first. Just move it to left. And you can see right away we're kind of getting this dreamy, ethereal look, especially in the clouds. Let's try moving Texture to left, see what that does. Not as much an effect there. Dehaze a little bit to the left. You can see now it's starting to add this kind of almost glow, almost from the middle when I move that to the left. And then you could come up and you can mess around with exposure as well. Maybe underexposed, overexposed. I think normal exposure works better on this image. So that is the Faw Orton effect. I'm going to call it that because it's not quite, I mean, those of you that are familiar with the Orton effect will, will back me up on this. It's not quite the Orton effect, but it, it's an effect that is close to the Orton effect that is at least unique to itself and something that you could try that will give your images a really cool look. Um, I think in the future I'll do a Photoshop video and I'll demonstrate how to apply the Orton effect in Photoshop. Also, let me know if you'd like to see that video in the comments below. Thank you everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.